Welcome back. Today we're going to look at using JSON in MemSQL and in particular the brand new features of MemSQL 7.1 relating to JSON. We're going to select, insert, update, and delete JSON data inside MemSQL. So let's dive in. I've created a database here and I've created a table inside that database. This table has three columns, an ID, a name, and a JSON column called properties. Let's fill some data into this table. Customer1 has ID1, and it has this code, including the array 1, 2, 3, 4. Customer2 is ID2, and it has this code, including an array 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's select that back out, and we can see that we get just a big JSON blob. If we want to dial into those properties, we can do that with this syntax, properties, colon, colon, and the property name that we're after. If we want to cast the number into SQL data types, properties colon dollar will select that as a SQL string. Properties colon percent will select that as a number. So let's select that data, and now we've exploded that JSON data into all the columns. Let's insert some JSON data. JSON set string, give it the column name, the field name that I want to set, and the value that I want to set it to. Account doesn't exist on that JSON property yet, so for customer1, we'll have this account field. Customer2 doesn't have an account field. That's fine. It's JSON. Let's update some JSON data. Let's set the code field to foo. JSON set string also helps us here. Now instead of saying cust1, it's going to say Foo. Let's some, delete some JSON data. We're going to delete the code property using JSON delete key. JSON delete key will delete the code property out of row 1, but it still exists on row 2. Let's add data into an array. JSON array push double or JSON array push string is a great way to reach into an array and update its data. In this case, I'm going to use that colon colon syntax to be able to get at that array field and push the number 5 into it. And then I'll set it into properties colon colon array so that I can get that data set into that particular property. Let's look at that data. And now we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. New in 7.1, I can select data out as JSON. If I want to take this data straight from MemSQL into another system where JSON is the preferred format, I can select it as JSON. And notice how it exploded the properties field into place so that this entire thing is valid JSON. I can also do interesting things where I select particular fields and only to JSON that particular selection rather than all the columns in my table. Also new in 7.1, I can take this table function and say JSON to array, my array, and join that array as a data set with other data in my database. So I'm going to take this array, join that to customer, and pull out the ID, name, and that array value out of that table. So customer 2 had 11, 12, 13, 14. Customer 1 had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now because I explode this array into a data set and join on it, I can do really interesting things. This has been a quick view of JSON in MemSQL and the new features in MemSQL 7.1 related to JSON.